How great after death last time, right? How did I react to the result? Yeah, no, we uh, trained today, all really bright. Um, yeah, everyone out on the training pitch, and um, yeah, it was a disappointment. But if um, someone would have said to me before the weekend, you take four points from the two games where they had, um, of course, I would have said I wanted six. But um, look, we take the four, and I was very honest with you on the day. I didn't feel we deserved more than um, the point that we got on Monday. I've watched the back since, and I still don't feel, feel like we played at our best. There were lots of reasons for it. Like I said on the day, I felt that. Um, Absolutely had a good day. I thought they, you know, really put it on us and played some good stuff as well. So always really respectful of our opponents. But um, yeah, for whatever re reason, we didn't quite reach the levels we wanted. Um, but also uh, earlier in the season when we were playing really well, we didn't weren't getting results. Um, so sometimes you have to look at it and say it's a positive for the group with the manner they're in at the moment and the moment and the feeling of them is that even when they're not at the best, they're finding ways to get us the points um, and it easily could have been free. In the FA Young scored a dramatic last, last minute winner in our previous encounter with um, Tamara Dupont and Spokane. Could we expect to see a bit of tightly contested game this time around? Yeah, certainly. That feels like um, a lifetime ago that now and it was off at the back of you know losing in the FA Cup and the feeling going into that game. It was a really nervy, nervy game for us. Obviously, I know they've changed management for them, but I think it was even nervy for them at the time. We both weren't in the best of forms and um, it's probably one of the least enjoyable games I've had as manager. Um, such a tight, tense affair. Yeah, and then he, the, the best moment on it, like you say, was in his winner in the, in the dying moments of the game because obviously there was very little time for them to come back into it. We knew we had got the three points and it obviously, um, you know, given a good end to a tough week for us all. So, look, it'll be a, a complete different game on Saturday. Um, new manager's gone here and I don't know him personally, but I, I, I respected him massively as a player. I competed against him a few times and then he became assistant manager in Notts County. Um, with Birchnell, um, other people have spoke to me about him, obviously Vinnie Beam and, and our group, you know, everyone says real good things about him. And um, at Woking, I think we're a, a surprise to all of us how well Woking did last year being in the playoff picture. Um, to having a season where they quite, weren't quite where they wanted to be at the start of the season. And um, I watched them a couple of times. I watched them against Gates, said I was in the ground watching it that day. And they got the 3-2 victory against them a couple of weeks ago now. And um, they got themselves out of the, the bottom places in the league. But, you know, like us and like all other, other teams, they're, they're still wanting to get as many points as they can. So we know it'll certainly be a, a tough game. And then one we know we're going to have to be um, better than we was on Monday to try and go and get the three points. Finally, we're just three games to go now. What would you like to see from your side before the end of the season? Look, more of this, more of what we've been seeing consistently now for a number of weeks. Um, we feel like it as a group, but we um, we we attribute to going back to far away over the Christmas period, um, spending um, some time away with the boys. Um, just something, just there was a some things just seemed to change from that moment uh, uh, to giving us a feel of us. The messages started to really. Um, you know, take course. Um, we feel like we've been on a pretty good run since then. Yes, I know we've lost games of football, but everyone's lost games of football since that moment then. But um, I'm just I'm just at a stage where everyone else might not feel like it, but we've got three games to go and I wish we had 30 games to go because I'm really happy with the group we've got and, and where they are and how they're playing and how they're training and how they're pushing each other each day. So as a manager right now, it's probably my... Um, not my easiest stage of the season, but I really know what I'm getting from everyone. My coaching staff have been excellent since the start and, and carrying on the hard work they've been doing and the players I have to say every single day are coming in and trying to get better and pushing each other and it's really really pleasing to see so look three games to go to try and try and get nine points um, I, look, I know everyone would want to win the last games of the season it doesn't matter where you are in the league I'm, I remember seeing something the other day with Chesterfield because they lost the other day and they're like no we want to get back to winning games leading into the summer and I'm the same I just want to keep you know building and getting better we spoke about it before, but the, the support we're getting is really good and I want to keep giving back to them. And um, we know it's going to be a really tough game on, on Saturday against Woking, but we want to try and hit that head on and try and get three points and then that will lead into Hartlepool and that will lead into Aldershot. But um, concentrate on the next game and try and put on a good performance that hopefully leads to three points for us.